today we're doing something a little different. I know some of you guys like unboxings. I got a big old box right here that uh, was sent to me from Top Don. The reason I'm doing this one, Caleb and I are about to do a 2018 Chevy Camaro with a parasitic drain. It's a friend of mine I play hockey with. I let him borrow my thermal camera and we got some lit up stuff on the dash and we're gonna handle that, but I'm gonna have him bring his car here tonight and I need a battery charger because it, it dies pretty quickly. And I just remembered that one of the things in this box is a battery charger from Top Don. And so I was like, Caleb, grab the camera, let's do an unboxing. All right, so what leads into this? There's three things in this box. The main one is the Top Don Phoenix Max, which is their top of the line uh, scan tool and lab scope combination. And this is from my friend at Top Down. Let me read this to you real quick. It says, good morning, Paul. We've been getting requests from our social media platform saying we want Scanner Danner to review the Phoenix Max. That's How awesome. What was that? So a Mac, uh, Phoenix Max was sent to me because of you guys wanting that. Now, you guys know me. I don't really do tool reviews very often. Um, I show you guys tools that I use. And I'm still a huge fan of the Top Down Phoenix which was sent to me last year. There's a newer model called the Phoenix Light, and it's still around the same price. It's like $800, and it is the best scan tool for the buck that I have ever used. $800 for a fully functional, bi-directional scan tool. If you guys want more on this Max for right now, until Caleb puts and I put something together, more than this unboxing, Hawken um, has an in-depth on the Max, my friend uh, Mike Salazar, I have a link for you guys there, he has one. And then my friend Super Mario Diagnostics, he also has one. So all three of these channels already have a Phoenix Max that they're reviewing. Uh, please guys, refer to those channels. Look in the description here for those links. Go over there and watch them. Tell them I sent you and say hello. We're gonna bring you some more on this Max as well. Now let me tell you a little bit more what was sent to me. The Phoenix Max, a professional level scan tool covering Asian, US domestic, Euro, and the weird stuff from across the pond. <laughs> Includes two years of updates and two years of warranty with purchase. It has a four channel scope included. The tool can be upgraded to add ADOS, Tesla, key programming for Euro vehicles. The tool can also be upgraded to add HD, so heavy duty vehicles. All right, let's open the box. Like a kid <laughs> oh, this is the battery charger. We oh, that's the charger. This Where's the, the charger? pack? This will be the one we'll be using on the Camaro. I'm gonna call him and tell him to bring his car tonight. We're gonna plug this in and have it charging overnight. Okay, that's the scope part of the Max. Okay, this is the Hurricane Power Station. That's so cool. A box within a box. This thing's super heavy. This fire. Oh, Dude. <laughs> Tape is hard. <laughs> this is this reminds me of the Autel. Yeah, that's and how giant heavy case. this case is. How many boxes? <laughs> Got it? Yep. Okay, let's see what's in the top top box real quick. We'll show you guys more of this when we start using it. I know nothing about this tool. Ooh. It goes on the back. We're not gonna do this again. Remember us breaking things? <laughs> I think I'll read the instructions this time. This is one of those things at this point where you need to read the instructions before you kind of bring something to, to the community. So we figured it out. I looked at the box and realized that that's there. So that's just storage. Yeah, and the problem with the storage of this of this is I can't plug it in. I can't plug it in. And and we broke the little freaking clip. Oh, a docking station. Can I do training with this? Does this have an HDMI? Oh yeah! Dude, no way. It does! It's a mini HDMI, but that's the newer style, right? I'm not gonna go through what everything is on this tool yet. Well, guys, please refer to those other guys that have done reviews on this. You guys will see this in action. Having a docking station is pretty sweet. This is the VCMI that 
my friend was telling me about for touchscreen. That's There's your OBD port. These are some pre OBD2 adapters. That's GM 12 pin. That's the Chrysler 6 pin. Uh, that looks like Toyota. One of the, this is Toyota maybe. I'm sure that they're marked. Hey, remember that cable, Stop. Kale? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a lot of other adapter cables. Here, wait, this goes with it, the scope. So this will be part of this unit too. What's in the box? Test leads, scope stuff. I imagine this is the scope part. It does have a wired connection. I bet this is also going to be wireless. I don't want to speak out of turn though, but there's your, there's your scope. It mentioned to me about the cable kit with an enhanced version being worked on too, but we'll just not make too many comments right now without knowing all of the details. Look at this mess. Hey, what? What is Bean doing? <laughs> it just threw up! <laughs> did, did you get it on camera? <laughs> How do we feel about the test leads that are available for the Phoenix lab scope? <laughs> this is the, uh, the Hurricane. This is like the battery, the battery pack. Ooh, dude, that's what I'm most excited about. Fancy. This needs to go camping. With yes, us. I was just gonna do. That's actually a decent light too. 200 watt power station. So it's not. It's not meant to be a jump pack. It's. It's a power station. Still. It's not a jump box. Okay. And then, this being my. This is really the main one that I wanted to share with you guys because we're about to use it tomorrow, tonight, to charge this car. So as my friend said, this is not the programming one, because the programming one, some of these cars, man, you want to have 50, 50 amp minimum, I think. Some of them even 100 amp on, when you're when you're charging a car, it can go through hours of updates on certain model cars, and you need, you absolutely need to have a maintainer on them, and some of them will be will be drawn in the 50 amp range during that time as it's exercising different modules and such. Look for this stuff, guys. I apologize for the mess and maybe one of the worst unboxings ever, but Caleb and I are just happy to bring this to you. We're thankful for Top Don for partnering with us and sending us this stuff. And again, I'm bringing this to you guys. Sure, it's a free tool for us, but I don't bring you guys free tools. I say no to a thousand people for every one that you guys see. I believe in the company, I believe in the product, I'm bringing it to you, I'm happy to bring it to you, can't wait for you guys to see it in some case studies. Don't forget to check out my three friends, Mike Salazar, Hawken, who works for Top Don, and my friend Super Mario Diagnostics. Make sure you check the description for their channels and their links for the Top Don Max. Guys, thank you, you'll see this soon. Wait, gotta show it. These are Ellie's favorite glasses. <laughs> My granddaughter plays with these all the time. We should recap the story behind those <laughs> when you and I were at Sheets and I said, whoa, check those out as like a joke. Yeah. And then you were like, nice. <laughs> I've bought like three pairs of them since then. <laughs> and we have our cat here, our, our resident hunter killer, huh, Bean. What's up, Bean? Yeah, see him lurking around on some of these home videos. <laughs> it just threw up. <laughs>